<laughs> All right, bye-bye summer. Hello fall. A cold front finally on the way. Yeah, it has arrived. Ron Williams knows just when it will be here officially, Ron now, so temperatures taking a dip today. Yeah, and that front still working its way through the area, but you can see uh, showers just along and especially behind that front really starting to work its way into central Missouri. That's why we're already seeing that wet weather, not only here in Kansas City, but across much of the area. So just to break things down, zone by zone for you, looking at live power Doppler radar, King City just to the east of St. Joseph, approaching I-35 along 36 Highway. You guys seeing uh, some pockets of uh, light to uh, mainly moderate rain. Wouldn't be surprised if there were some heavier showers embedded in there. Now our central zone, including the Kansas City Metro, we actually saw some rain here in uh, Fairway not long ago, Fairway, Kansas. Kansas City, things starting to pick up a little bit more as another wave of some showers moves through. Areas like Paola, Lacing, things picking up for you guys as well. A lot of these showers mainly moving from southwest to northeast, but that front still seeing this broken line of rain, not expecting anything severe or any flooding, but uh, skies are going to be pretty cloudy through the day, not expecting it to rain the entire day, and a lot of those showers should start to taper off later this morning, and especially by the afternoon, but a lot of that cloud cover will still be hanging around. Kansas City, hey, still not looking too bad this morning through our Diagnostic Imaging Center's tower cam. 65 degrees currently, that cold front really packing a punch a little bit further back out to the west where we're seeing 50s and 40s from Dodge City up in the North Platte. But look a little bit further back out to the east, 70s in St. Louis, Chicago, and uh, especially out towards Indianapolis. So this cold front really still working its magic when it comes to cooling things down as it moves uh, across the middle of the country. Your Monday planner, again, tapering off later on this morning by the afternoon. Just still looking at cloudy skies into the evening, though. But for the Royals game, things not really looking too bad. Forecast track, just to uh, kind of show you that one more time, a lot of cloudy skies still lingering once those showers taper off later this morning and into the afternoon, but still looking mainly dry, still keeping a very slight chance of a shower into t early tomorrow morning for your Wednesday, mainly for areas along and south of I-70. You can see that's where a lot of that cloud cover was really hanging around, but just clouds and sunshine tomorrow, mainly dry for a lot of your Wednesday, though. And just to uh, look at that Royals for forecast, of course, the Tigers in town, 20% chance at 715 for first pitch, 6 60s through the game, a little bit cooler by about 10 o'clock with a lot of cloud cover still hanging around despite the fact that it's going to be mainly dry. 70 degrees tomorrow, 74 on Thursday, and looks like our stretch of 70s continuing all the way through the weekend. Rain chances increasing towards the end of the weekend, late day Sunday, and especially into Monday. And I know Tuesday is not on there, but it looks like a Tuesday may be a little wet as well. Joe, Gina?